reflecting personally, how do you how do you think you personally benefit from being in relationship with good men, men who who see you, men who challenge you, who keep you honest? Yeah, I think that there's so many ways that I benefit personally. I think that I, I talk about this all the time, or as often as I can, that we as men learn about how to be a good man and how to be good at being a man through the modeling of other men. Mm. And so I think we can oftentimes look at a man and, and kind of discern a little bit, not entirely, but we can kind of discern <clears throat> who he is based on the men that are around him. And you can kind of discern also the men that he keeps based on who he is. So I think I've benefited deeply because or, or through the accountability I've benefited mm -hmm. through the modeling of the men that I'm surrounded by of what it can look like to be an exceptional father or an exceptional husband or an exceptional leader. And I see that through the modeling of other men. So I think the modeling is the one way, because I think that we as men, we transmit masculinity. Now, and so when, again, I'll just come back to personalization. I think how I've benefited is I've surrounded myself by as many good men as possible and I've benefited through the transmission of their own strengths, what they've had to work on, what they've had to work through, the wisdom that has come along with their rock bottoms and their epic successes. All of that has been sort of metabolized in my life by being mm -hmm. in a relationship with them. So I think that's a big one. And then I think the other piece is there's sort of like the cliche notion of iron sharpens iron. But I, I think in many ways, it's that I have other people who are aiding me in my relentless pursuit towards who I want to be as a man. Mm. And and that's not, not always formed. It's not always a clear mm. picture of this is who <laughs> I want to be. It's just sort of sometimes it's like this notion of this is what I'm moving towards as a father, as a man, as a leader, as mm. a husband. And other men help hold me accountable to that. They remind me of that vision. Mm. They inspire me towards that vision. And I think my life lacked a nutrient or nutrition when I didn't have really solid men in my life when I was constantly mm. seeking the attention of women. And now that I have that, it feels like I'm full and more complete in a way that I didn't know was possible before that. But I think those are the main, mm. those are the main pieces. I love that. So would you say then, you alluded to essentially, and I know we've spoken a bit of your history, chasing the approval of women. Was there, was there at the same time an, a resistance to having good men around you? Were there barriers? for you men men weren't safe for me before mm. and when i say safe i don't mean that in in uh, i couldn't physically handle myself with mm. other men because i i was an enforcer in hockey i'm six foot two i'm a 200 pounds i've got in many bar fights like i can handle myself with <laughs> other men it's that it wasn't safe for me to trust other men mm. uh, it wasn't safe for me to love or be loved by other men have men be close to me in my life and know about me because in my childhood men either weren't around when I wanted them or needed them, they, they left, mm. uh, or they were harmful. They mm. were verbally, emotionally, and physically abusive. And there was unbeknownst to me in my youth, like avoidance of really good men because I, and I didn't really know this at the time, but I, I just sort of assumed that men were going to betray me in mm. some capacity. And I think that that's the case for a lot of guys that are nice guys or chasing after women's debt validation or don't have good mm. men in their life is that there's some core underlying wound or pain that they have that they may not even know about. Mine was just, I didn't even know for a long time mm. until I finally, after I hit rock bottom, was like, oh shit, I really am afraid of being betrayed by men. And so I only let them in on the surface level of who I am. Mm. And I never mm. actually go deeper with them in, with the men in my life. Uh, and that really started to change after the rock bottom and, and man, am I grateful for it? <laughs> Me too, personally from my own experiences, but also because we get to be here and we get to be in community and we get to be friends. Uh, and I appreciate that insight. Thank you. Beautiful. Love it. Thanks brother. Awesome.